the best VR headset for 2024, MetaQuest 3, and a few other options. It's been a year for VR and AR. Everything started with the Apple Vision Pro earlier in the year, then there was the MetaQuest 3S more recently that was an affordable VR headset, and there have been a whole bunch of display glasses and audio glasses popping up in the meantime. What do you get? Well, I've been testing VR and AR stuff for well over a decade, and I use this stuff and write about it all the time. Here are my picks right now for the best VR and AR options in 2024. First of all, Meta rules this landscape, and there's a good reason for that. The MetaQuest headsets have been really affordable, self-contained, and really high quality. The MetaQuest 3, which came out last year, is still my favorite and best VR headset. This thing can play games, you can use it to do fitness, you can do work in it. The display is better than the previous Quest 2, the lenses are better, it has better graphics, and it has something that you're gonna see in a lot of headsets now, mixed reality, which is using color cameras that show the pass-through world around you and blend it with VR to make it seem like things are mixing with the real and the virtual. The MetaQuest 3 can do this, it only costs $500, and it's standalone, it can also connect with a PC. What's not to like? Well, if you don't like Facebook and Meta's ecosystem, maybe there's that. But other than that, it's really the best product. In second place, the MetaQuest 3S, which might be the one a lot of people choose to get instead. This is new, only costs $300, which is a fantastic value, but it does cut a few corners. It has the same graphics capability and the same color pass-through cameras and mixed reality as the Quest 3, but its displays and its lenses are the same as the Quest 2 which means that things are a little blurrier, a little bit muddier, totally fine for gaming, but if you're looking to do work to connect with a computer, which you can do on these, and read text or do anything else, you may find it pretty disappointing. There's also the PlayStation VR 2, which has been out since last year, and is a gaming option specifically, and it has a couple of big caveats. One, it's expensive. Uh, although the price has been dropped recently in some sales, it also needs to be tethered to a PlayStation 5, so it's not standalone. You need to be in a particular room to do this. It also doesn't have color cameras, it has black and white ones, but it plays games really nicely if you've got a PS5 nearby. Fantastic controllers, and it plays high-end games that feel like PC games. However, Sony's not doing a lot of exclusives for this right now. So it's unclear how much mileage you're gonna get out of it, but if you have a PS5, wanna spend the money and play some games, plus it works with PCs now with a separately sold adapter. As far as other VR headsets, there really aren't any that I can think of because the PC landscape has shrunken down. Valve hasn't updated its PC VR headsets recently, and those Quest headsets plus the PSVR 2 can both connect to PCs. So there are a bunch of VR headsets that can do mixed reality, but eventually these may get smaller and turn into AR glasses. When will we get there? Not yet, but there are some glasses out there that do some interesting things that you might wanna consider. The Meta Ray-Bans are these very affordable, regular glasses that have cameras and audio built in. And I love them. I've been wearing them a lot over the past year. I use them to take phone calls, I listen to music, and they have AI functions, which can identify things in the world around you, translate stuff and more. They're really fun, not too expensive, but the battery life does not last a full day. That being said, they're one of the more practical products that I've seen in a novelty landscape. Then there's the X-Real 1, which is a new set of display glasses, and there are a number of display glasses out there. But X-Real's new set increases the quality of its display. It also allows you to pin that display in space. So you're basically seeing a monitor or a gaming screen or whatever else you want to plug into because the X-Real 1 connects with USB-C to phones, to Macs, to PCs, to game consoles like the Steam Deck. So it's incredibly practical for taking it on the go with you. That being said, it's mainly just a display with Bose-powered audio, but at $500, it costs a lot less than some other options like the Vision Pro. Let's talk about the Apple Vision Pro for a second. Yes, it came out this year. No, I don't recommend that you buy it because it's $3,500. However, the Vision Pro has fantastic display quality, great audio, and I use it all the time as a home movie theater and as a way to connect to my Mac and curve a screen around myself. That's not worth $3,500 for most people. What I would say is wait until Apple does a more affordable, smaller version of this, which they likely will, and then we'll talk again. So those are the best VR and AR options to consider for 2024. For more, check out CNET, especially the best VR headsets list, which we update, and a number of reviews and articles that are ongoing where I take a look at this technology all the time. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.